Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. And we're going to play some more Pine Tar Baseball. Great team set. And we have from the newest great team set, the 1975 Red Sox. Taking on the 1975 Reds from a prior great team set. God, I love Pine Tar Baseball. And if you're interested in Pine Tar Baseball, especially the new great team set, email Kurt Berglund, who is in the chat right now. 1972 is out. Great team set is out. And Negro League All-Star teams will be out. Or best of, however you want to put it. Soon. And you can either get them via PDF at a reasonable price or print it. At a reasonable price. Pine Tar Baseball. One of my favorite tabletop games. So we're going to do the 1975 series. Alternate replay reality. Alternate reality replay. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Reds will have home field. Because they had 108 wins. And the Red Sox only had 95. So they will have home field in this best of seven. Jim Rice will play for the Boston Red Sox, and there will be a DH in all games. So here we go at the ballpark here in Cincinnati. We see Kurt Berglund, Pine Tar Baseball Guru himself, and RF. And remember, check out Kurt Berglund's channel. WVOGS18, how you doing? Check out his wonderful YouTube channel and Steelers fan 1933, a.k.a. Matt. And if you like tabletop sports, remember Glory Days Boxing, which can be purchased at sidelinestrategies.com. Wonderful, wonderful tabletop sports game. It goes nicely with your Pine Tar baseball set if you have it. And if you have Glory Days Boxing, Pine Tar goes nicely with that. And it's brought to you from our good friend, Anthony, from Bleacher Bums Gaming. All right, let's get to the 75 best of seven series between the Red Sox and Reds. Alternate replay reality. For the Boston Red Sox, leading off in right field, Bernie Carbo. Batting second at first base, Cecil Cooper. Freddie Lynn, the American League Rookie of the Year and MVP is in center field. He'll bat third. The designated hitter is Jim Ed Rice. Carl Yastrzemski's in left. Carlton Fisk behind the plate. Juan Beniquez gets a surprise start at third. Denny Doyle will play second base. Rick Burleson will bat ninth and play short. Bill Spaceman Lee is on the bump here in Cincinnati. The lefty, 17-9 with a 3.95 ERA. For the big red machine of Cincinnati, the Reds, Pete Rose leads off. He'll play third. Joe Morgan's at second. Johnny Bench behind the plate. The cleanup hitter is George Foster. Tony Perez at first. Ken Griffey's the DH. Merv Redman is in right field. Davey Concepcion plays short. And batting ninth, Cesar Geronimo in center field. Gary Nolan will take the hill for the Big Red Machine of 75. 15 and 9, 3.16 ERA. So here we go. Bernie Carbo to lead things off. Left-handed batter reaches safely 0 through 40 against right-handed pitching. Nolan picks up the sign from bench. The pitch to Carbo. And that is a 13 for Bernie. And Bernie will single. So Bernie Carbo on the 13 pulls the ball to right field. Past the dive of Tony Perez. So Bernie Carbo singles. Carbo at first. That'll bring up another left-handed batter, Cecil Cooper. Cooper reaches safely 0 through, zero through 34. Reds hoping to turn 2. The pitch from Nolan to Cecil Cooper, and that's a 75. 75 will be a fly ball to right field. Making the catch is Merv Retterman. Retreating back to first is Bernie Carbo. One 
One out, one on for Freddie Lynn, Gold Dust Twin number one. Here's the pitch from Nolan to Lynn. That's a three. That's a 96. So a 96 is a fly ball to deep left, but not deep enough. George Foster corrals it at the warning track. Two down. Once again, Carbo retreats to first. Carbo will be off on contact. Moderate base runner. And here is Jim Ed Rice, the designated hitter. Bench sets the target. The pitch to Rice. Nolan tosses up. A 39 to Rice. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. So the leadoff single goes for not as Nolan retires Cooper, Lynn, and Rice after Carbo. Should have put the outs up, but I forgot. Go to the bottom of the first. No score here in Cincinnati. As Bill Spaceman Lee goes out to the mound for his warm-up tosses. He'll be facing Rose, Morgan, and Bench. The spaceman's ready to work to Charlie Hustle, switch hitter batting righty. Against left-handed pitching, he reaches safely 0 through 37. Bill Lee, maximum innings pitch before any type of modification, eight innings. And he has no automatic strikeouts or walks. He's an A grade, first two times through the lineup away, and then becomes a B grade the rest of the game. Gary Nolan, I forgot to tell you, A plus at home the first two times through the lineup. Then he drops to a C, maximum innings pitched before modification, seven innings, and he does not have any automatic walks or strikeouts. MV is in the house. Hope all is well. Here's the pitch from Lee to Rose. That's a four, and that's going to be a 69 to Charlie Hustle. Fly ball, right field. Bernie Carbo, the former Red, makes the catch. One down. As Rose turns and goes to the bench. One out for Joe Morgan. Morgan left hand batting second baseman reaches safely zero through 41. Fist behind the plate, wiggles the finger, sets the target the pitch to little Joe Morgan. And that's a 94. The breaking stuff's working pretty good right now for Bill Lee. 94. Is a ball hit out to left. Coming in is Carl Yastrzemski. And Yaz makes the catch. So two fly balls, two outs for Bill Spaceman Lee and the Boston Red Sox of 1975. Johnny Bench. We remember Johnny as part of the baseball bunch. Bench strides to the plate. Right-handed batting power hitting catcher. 0 through 36, he'll reach safe. I'm sorry, 0 through 33, he'll reach safely against left-handed pitching. Fisk sets a target for his counterpart bench. Lee with the slow windup and the delivery. And that's a 23 to Johnny. Johnny sits back on the breaking pitch, and he's going to single to center. So Johnny bench with a two-out single. He's at first. Slow runner. He's going nowhere. Left fielder for the Reds, George Foster, steps to the right-hander's batter's box. Foster against left-handed pitching. Reaches safely 0 through 34. Bench takes a slight lead. Lee nods his head. Fisk sets the target to pitch to quiet George Foster. That's going to be a 72. How do you do, Foster? Hard hit ball to third. First chance for Benique as he backhands it. Fires across the diamond to Cooper, and the side is retired. Good job by Juan Beniquez. We're through one. No score here in Cincinnati. Top of the second. Do up for the Red Sox, Yastrzemski, Fisk, and Benikas. We just made that good play at third.
Captain Carl, how you doing, my friend? Hope all is well. And this is Pine Tar Baseball. Great team sets. The Red Sox of 75 come from the newest great team set. And the 75 Reds, I think, was the first great team set. I believe three great team sets have been put out for the MLB, and I have them all. And I actually cut a couple more today, too. All right, here is Carl Ustramski, the left fielder, left-handed batter. He awaits the Gary Nolan offering. He reaches safely against right-handed pitching 0 through 40. Nolan's ready. He kicks and deals to Carl Ustramski. That's going to be an 89. Yaz will swing the stick, sends it to center, waiting to make the catch. Actually, sends it to, no, center field, I'm correct. Waiting to make the catch is Cesar Geronimo, one down. So one out for the Red Sox. Red Sox catcher Carlton Fisk steps to the plate, right-hand batter. Against right-handed pitching, reaches safely 0 through 37. The pitch to Pudge from Nolan. That is a 39 to Carlton Fisk. Strike three looking. Fisk did not like the call there. Couldn't pull the trigger on the breaking pitch. Second strikeout for Nolan. So there's two down here in the top of the second for the Red Sox. Juan Benitez gets got the surprise start at third after we looked at our options. He gets something going here with two outs. Benitez, right-hand batter. Reaches safely 0 through 27 against right-handed pitching. Bench goes through the sides. Nolan quickly nods his head. He rocks and deals to Juan Beniquez, and that is a 90. Beniquez will fly out to left. Foster makes the play, and the side is retired. 1, 2, 3. Go the Bostonians. We go to the bottom of the second here in Cincinnati. No score. Game 1, best of 7. Alternate reality series we'll call it bill lee back up on the mound for the boston red sox he will face perez griffey and rudderman tony perez right hand batting power hitting first baseman slugging percentage 466 Against left-handed pitching, reaches safely 0 through 35. The spaceman's ready. The slow windup and the pitch to Tony Perez. And oh my, that is a 0-8. And that will be a double. Perez smacks that ball to center over the head of Freddie Lynn. And he stands at second to lead off the bottom of the second. So Perez in scoring position for Ken Griffey. The Cincinnati Reds DH on deck. Merv Redderman. Griffey will swing the stick. Lefty lefty matchup. He reaches safely 0 through 34. Lee peeks over his shoulder. Now in at Fisk behind the plate. He deals to Ken Griffey. Four. That's a 25. Lee is an A pitcher, so let's see what this 25 will be. Single, but the A modification turns it into a walk. So Griffey laces one foul, and then on the 3-2 count, walks. So Griffey walks, no outs, two on. Perez at second, Griffey at first for Merv Redman. Redman starting in right field against left-handed pitching, 0 through 41. Sacrifice hit chance 89. Jeez, you might have to move them over. But 0 through 41, he's got a 41% chance of getting on. He's going to swing away. Sparky Anderson says, swing away, Merv, swing away. Lee needs a double play ball here. Here comes a slow breaking pitch to Merv Redman. That's a 98. 
And it's going to be a range check. Get to the kitchen, as Kirk Berglund says. So let's see where this ball is hit to, and will it be an error? Well, the good news, that's an 8, and there's no one that horrific on the Red Sox team with an 8 on the field. 69, Merv Redeman hits the ball to shortstop. Rick Burleson will handle that because Rick Burleson's error chance is a 4, and that's an 8, so Burleson will make the play. And... It's a nine. So Burleson, nine, put out three runners advance. It's going to be second and third. It's going to be, uh, yep, second and third. Perez goes to third. Griffey goes to second as the only play on the ball hit to deep short in the hole was to first. So a very good play by Burleson. One out, second and third. For the Reds, they're threatening to score. Number eight batter, Davey Concepcion, steps to the plate, the shortstop. Against left-handed pitching, zero through 30 he reaches. Red Sox will play back. They'll go for the out. Lee takes a deep breath. The spaceman rocks and deals to Davey Concepcion. That's a Four, that's going to be a 36. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Boy, did we luck out there. Bill the befuddles him with the EFIS ball. And that's Bill Lee's first strikeout. Four, so that's a 36. 32 through 37 against lefties is a strikeout. Lee one out away from getting out of this mess. Perez at third. Griffey at second. Two outs now. Bottom of the second, no score here in Cincinnati. Game one. Dave Crouch has joined us. Hope all is well. He says, Go Reds. I remember this series well. A real roller coaster ride. Christopher Slovak has also joined us. Check out that wonderful channel. So here's Cesar Geronimo, the number nine batter. Does he have some two-out magic in that bat? The Bostonians hope not. Fisk sets up the pitch from Lee to Geronimo. That's a three. That's going to be a zero, four. And that will be a single. So zero, four, that's a single. That's going to score Perez. That ball's hit to left. Griffey is a fast runner. I think he scores anyway without a throw. That's the way we're going to call it because he's a fast runner. And I think it's a slower, moderate runner. That's the way I'd play it. So it's going to be 2-0, nothing, 2 nothing Cincinnati. A clutch single with two outs by Cesar Geronimo. Scores Perez from third and the speedy Ken Griffey from second. And Geronimo picks up two ribbies. So Lee couldn't get out of it. Gives up the two-out hit that produces two runs for the Reds. Top of the order. And Pete Rose, who's 0 for 1. Rose flew out. To Carbo in right. The pitch to Charlie Hustle. Can he knock in another run? That's a five. That's a 44. Rare play. We're not doing any injuries. We're not doing any of that. We'll look to see if it's part of the game. If not, we'll just go to the 44. And that's going to be a 27. So a 27. Is a walk, but a runner is on first. A 
Oh, if base is empty. If runner, if runners are on first and second, they oh got double steal. That is awful. If these conditions are not met, there's no runners at first and second. Then the play is instead two balls. So two balls. Count runs full now on Rose. The pitch once again to Charlie Hustle. And it's going to be a 39 swing and a miss. So Lee comes back with another strikeout on the slow breaking pitch. Rose muttering to himself. But the two out single by Geronimo gives the Reds a 2 0 lead. We go to the top of the third. 2 0 Cincinnati. Do up for the Red Sox, Doyle, Burleson, and Carbo. Clinton Parks, how you doing? Hope all is well. C and D Baseball TV with Tony Porter. Hope all is well. Check out that wonderful channel. Always playing all kinds of different baseball games. Card and dice, which makes everything oh so nice. Here's Denny Doyle. Red Sox trailed by two. Doyle left-handed batting second baseman against righties. Reaches safely 0 through 31. Gary Nolan's ready to work. He deals to Denny Doyle. And that's going to be a 74. Doyle swings the stick. Loops it out to right. Coming in to make the play is Merv Redman. One down for Boston. Here's the Red Sox shortstop, the rooster, Rick Burleson. Bench goes through the signs. Nolan nods his head. The pitch to the rooster, Rick Burleson. And that's going to be a 91. Fly ball, left field. Foster awaits it. He makes the catch. Two down, two fly balls, two outs. Gary Nolan with a two-run lead, and he doesn't want to give up anything. Bernie Carbo at the plate. He's one for one. He singled in his first at-bat. The leg kick and the pitch from Nolan to Bernie Carbo. And that's going to be a 33. A 33. I don't think that's anything. Uh, nope, it's a regular 33. Carbo will walk. So Bernie Carbo walks. Carbo on for a second time. Got the start over Evans in right. Two outs for Cecil Cooper flew out to Redmond and right. Do the Red Sox have some two out magic? The pitch to Coop. Cooper with a 54. And that's going to shut the door as that's a one hopper to Morgan at second who flips to Perez at first and the side is retired. The two out walk does no damage. We go to the bottom of the third. 2-0 here in Cincinnati. Due up for the Reds. Morgan, Bench, and Foster to face Bill, Spaceman Lee. Reds want to add to that lead. Morgan's 0 for 1. He flew out to left. The pitch to little Joe Morgan from Bill Lee. That's a 5. It's going to be an 81. Sent out to right field going back towards the line. Making the catch is Bernie Carbo. Second time Morgan has flown out. He's 0 for 2. Reds catcher Johnny Bench strides to the plate. Digs in that right-hander's batter's box. Lee nods his head. Fisk sets the target. Again, the slow wind up from the spaceman, Bill Lee. And he has bench fooled. That's an 82 bench out in front of that pitch. Lofts one to shallow center. Coming in, coming in, coming in is Freddie Lynn. And he will make the grab. Two down for the Reds here in the bottom of the third. Captain Carl says, Bill Lee's aunt played in the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League. Very cool. Very cool. Excellent info. 
Clinton Park says he's downloading Hockey Bones 14-15 season. Excellent. Christopher Slovak, Bill Spaceman Lee always said in interviews that in the early innings, he hated striking out players because he had to pace himself. It's true. If you think about that, to strike someone out, you have to throw at least three pitches. Two outs for George Foster. He grounded to Beniquez at third. Lee looking for a one, two, three inning. The pitch from the spaceman. To speak softly, carry a big boomstick, George Foster. That is a one. That is a 47. Swing and a miss. Oh, my Lord. That was an EFIS pitch from hell for Foster. Boy, did he look silly on that one. One, two, three, go with the Reds. We're through three, but it's 2 nothing. Cincinnati. Lee's now struck out three. Top of the fourth. Boston down by two. They will send up Lynn Rice and Yastrzemski to face Gary Nolan. Foster. Morgan Bench Foster. Okay. Perez leads off the next inning. There we go. Gary Nolan's only given up one hit and a walk, and it's they're both to Bernie Carbo. Freddie Lynn flew out to left. He's 0 for 1. The pitch to Freddie Lynn. Gold Dust Twin number 1. That is a 3, so it's going to be a 54. Foul tip held on by Johnny Bench. Strike 3. Nolan picks up another K. That's his third. One down for Boston. He's kept the Gold Dust Twins in check so far. Here's Gold Dust Twin number two, Jim Ed Rice. He was a strikeout victim of Nolan. Looking for some revenge. Bench wiggles the fingers. Nolan nods his head. He rocks and deals to Jim Rice. 30. That is a possible walk, but he's an A-plus pitcher the first two times through the lineup. 3-2 count. Possible walk. Strike three. Oh, Rice is incensed. The Boston bench is chirping. They don't like that, that call. Too much of the outside corner they're giving Gary Nolan. Second time Rice has gone down via the K. Four strikeouts for Nolan. Once again, that was a 30, which would have been a walk, but Nolan is an A-plus pitcher the first two times through the lineup, and a walk turns into a strikeout. So two outs for the Red Sox. Bryce not happy with that call, and here comes Captain Carl Yastrzemski, elder statesman of the team. Yaz flew out to Geronimo in center. He awaits the Nolan offering. The pitch to Yastrzemski. 15. Single. A+. plus. Strike out again. Oh, my Lord. That A-plus comes in awfully handy. So Yastrzemski laces a ball. Just foul. Down the right field line. Didn't grab chalk. And on the very next pitch, swing and a miss, down and in. And Gary Nolan struck out the side. Lynn Rice and Yastrzemski, he now has five strikeouts. We go to the bottom of the fourth. 2 nothing Cincinnati. Bill Lee back up on the bump. He will face Perez, Griffey, and Redderman. This is the, the part of the order that gave him trouble. Perez doubled. Griffey walked. Redderman hit a deep ball to short. Only play was the first for uh, Burleson. Concepcion would strike out, but Geronimo had the two-out single that knocked in two. And that's how we stand, 2 nothing.
Bill Lee has to keep it a two-run deficit. Gary Nolan's got his stuff going today. Can the Red Sox get to him when his grade drops to a C? Perez, one for one with a double. The pitch to Tony Perez from Bill Spaceman Lee. That's a 23. What will it be? We shall see the 23. That is a walk. So Perez on base for a second time, this time via the free pass. Perez is at first. Here's the designated hitter, Ken Griffey. Lefty-lefty matchup. The pitch to Griffey. 96 to Griffey. Griffey will fly out to left. And Carl Yastrzemski retreating back to first is Perez. So one out. Joining us at the ballpark, Sox Arizona fan. Hope all is well. Check out that channel. He does a lot of stuff with live sports. He was doing a Celtics game the other day. It was kind of cool. So one out, one on for Merv Redman. He grounded to short. Lee hoping for the double play ball. On deck is Davey Concepcion. The pitch to Merv Redman. That's a 21 and that's going to be a single. Single right back up the wickets in his center field. Perez will go to second and stop. He's a slow runner. So Merv Redman's now one for two. And once again, two runners are on for the Cincinnati Reds. Shortstop Davey Concepcion, a strikeout victim in his first time up. The pitch to Concepcion. Lee again looking for the double play ball. 34. Swing and a miss. He gets Davey Concepcion for a second time. Four strikeouts for Bill Lee. That slow breaking pitch. Two outs, two on. And here's the two out magic man, Cesar Geronimo. He knocked in two runs with two outs. In the bottom of the second. Can he knock in Perez and Redderman? Perez at second. Merv Redderman at first. They'll be off on contact. Lee takes a deep breath. He rocks and deals to Cesar Geronimo. This time he has Geronimo's number. 83. Fly ball center field. Waiting. Camping for the catch is Freddie Lynn. And the side is retired. We go to the top of the fifth. Now, next, when Bill Lee pitches the top of the fifth, his pitching grade, because he's already gone two times through the lineup, will drop to a B. 2 nothing Cincinnati. Due up for the Red Sox, Fisk, Benitez, and Doyle. Red Sox only have one hit and two base runners, and... They're both Bernie Carbo. Carbo singled and walked. So here's Pudge. Carlton Fisk struck out his first time up. Nolan looks in. He's ready. He deals to Fisk. 29 to Carlton Fisk. And Fisk will walk. Good job. Fisk was unhappy with the strike three call last time. He works a walk. So Fisk at first. Top of the fifth, 2 0 Cincinnati. Beniquez, tying run, steps to the plate. On deck, Denny Doyle. Beniquez will swing away. He awaits the Nolan offering. Pitch inbound, 3 60. That's going to be a double play ball if it's on the ground. And it is a one hopper to third. Rose to Morgan, on to first, and Tony Perez. 5-4-3, just what Gary Nolan wanted it to be. So there are two outs on the double play ball by Beniquez. Red Sox have to start all over now. And it'll be Denny Doyle. 
The second baseman at the plate, Doyle, flew out to right. He's 0 for 1. The pitch to Doyle. And that double play ball was a killer because that's a 27, and that's a single. So Denny Doyle slaps a single to right. Two outs, Doyle at first for the rooster, Rick Burleson. Burleson flew out to Foster in left. He's 0 for 1. The pitch to the rooster, Rick Burleson. Nolan fires in a 76. He challenged him with the fastball. Fly ball, center field going back. At the track is Cesar Geronimo, and the side is retired. Rooster got a good piece of it, but not good enough. We go to the bottom of fifth, two nothing Cincinnati. When Nolan comes back out to the mound, his pitching grade will go from an A plus to a C. Red Sox might gain some ground there, but again, very good bullpen for the Cincinnati Reds. So Bildy on the bump goes from an A to a B. He'll be a B pitcher as long as he stays in the game. He faces the top of the Reds order here in the bottom of the fifth. Rose, Morgan, and Bench. Cincinnati up 2 nothing. Rose 0 for 2. A fly out and a strikeout. The pitch to Charlie Hustle from Bill Spaceman Lee. That's a 46. Slaps that ball to first. Cooper has it. Tosses the lead, covering the bag. One down. Scoring at home, three to one. A lot of pressure on the shoulders of Bill Lee. One out, no one on for left-hand batting. Little Joe Morgan, second baseman's 0 for 2. Here's the pitch to Morgan from Lee. 85, Morgan sends it to center right at Freddie Lynn for out number two. So Joe Morgan's flown to left, flown to right, and now flown to center. He's 0 for 2. Base is empty. Two outs. Bottom of the fifth, 2 nothing Cincinnati. Johnny Bench, the Reds catcher, strides to the plate, digs in the right-hander's batter's box. He's 1 for 2, a single and a fly out to Freddie Lynn. The pitch to Bench. Lee tosses up. A hanging, breaking pitch. That's a 13, and that is a single. So Johnny Bench is now 2 for 3 as he sat back and went the other way on that breaking pitch. Two outs. Bench at first for silent killer George Foster, who carries a big boomstick. Foster 0 for 2, a ground out and a strikeout. They're playing behind Bench. Lee concentrating on Foster. Picks up the sign from Fisk. He deals to Foster. 28 for Silent George. Lee still a B grade. First base is occupied. That would have been a walk. Instead, it will be a two ball count. Now it's a 3 2 count. Lee does it again. Inbound to Foster. Two outs bench at first. He's off on contact. 36. Swing and a miss. Nasty breaking pitch. Another K for Bill Spaceman Lee. Five strikeouts. We go to the top of the six. Cincinnati still with a 2-0 lead. Red Sox coming to bat. Top of the order. Carbo, Cooper, and Lynn. To face Gary Nolan, who is now a C-grade pitcher. Captain Hook will be ready to yank him. He's given the Reds five scoreless innings. Carbo is one for one with a walk. He's been on base both times. The pitch to Bernie Carbo, hoping to go boom. And Bernie... With a 0-4, Carbo crushes his ball. Off the wall in left field. It takes a wild hop. 
Carbo racing around second. Here's the relay throw to third. Not in time. Carbo triples. Bernie Carbo just missed a homer. Pop-up slide at third, clapping his hands, trying to rev up the Red Sox. He's now two for two with a walk. Dave Gardner has joined us here at in Cincinnati. Wonderful, wonderful Digital to Dice podcast. Absolutely marvelous. Please check it out on Spreaker or wherever fine podcasts are listened to. And also, you can check it out on YouTube, but I recommend going to Spreaker because that helps out Dave Gardner and Uncle Ron Juckett more. And I have to, I listened actually on YouTube. I'm going to have to go back and listen on uh, Spreaker. They had a an author on. I'll leave it at that. Very fun stuff. Excellent, excellent job by Dave Gardner and Ron Juckett. So Carbo is at third. Cecil Cooper comes to the plate. Will they go with Captain Hook now? We have Raleigh Eastwick. Will McAhaney. I think you got to go to McAhaney here. He's a lefty. You got two lefties coming up. I think they would hook him. Because Sparky Anderson had a very short leash in 75. Will McAhaney can go two innings. If he goes two full innings, he cannot play in game two. Um, it's kind of early to bring in McAhaney. Uh, six. If he goes six, seven, Barbone Bre gets him to the through the eighth, and you go Eastwick in the ninth. We have Clay Carroll, too, but he's a righty. So they, they got some good... Relief pitching at home with the home pitching grades. And they're going to go to Will McAnney. That's it. Gary Nolan after the triple by Carbo. Carbo's been a one-man wrecking crew. He's been on base three times. Doyle is the only other Red Sox with a hit. And Fisk, the only the Red Sox to get on with a walk. And Sparky Anderson's calling for the lefty, Will McAnney. So Nolan can only win it. He went five, pitched to Carbo in the sixth, the first batter. Ninny. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. And I've, I've watched that guy play. <laughs> Will McEnany. Ooh, say that ten times fast. So McEnany in relief of Nolan. Cooper. Now will the Red Sox, what will the Red Sox do here? I've always wanted to use Deron Johnson. Oh, yeah. And... Of course, he's actually not that horrific of a first baseman. And here comes Duran Johnson to pinch hit for Cecil Cooper. Johnson, 0 through 28, the same as Cooper, but he has home runs 0 through 4. He's got to stay away from the derivative of 5s. So you want you don't want the 0 0. You need you need a 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4. You don't want the 0 0. Because that will take away the home run. So Cecil Cooper is going to get pinch hit for. And Johnson will stay in to play. F or maybe we move Yastrzemski to first. Carbo to left. Um, Alright. So Duran Johnson will pinch hit in the sixth. Ron Johnson will pinch hit for Cecil Cooper, and we don't know if he's going to stand to play first or if we're going to flop a bunch of different guys around. So 
So Cooper's day is done. He is lifted for Duran Johnson. They're hoping for Johnson to get a little bippity-boppity-boom magic. McAhenny has a word with Bench. Bench back behind the plate. Carbo at third. 2 nothing Reds. Carbo tripled to lead off the sixth. Duran Johnson digs in the right-hander's batter's box. McAhenny. He's ready. He rocks and deals to Duran Johnson. 13 to Duran Johnson, and that is a single! And it would have been a single off the Cooper card, too, but it's better because it's Duran Johnson and we brought him in. So a 13 is a single. Scoring from third is Bernie Carbo. And a pinch hit RBI single for Duran Johnson. As he went the other way. A little behind the fastball. But he sends it to right. And that sends Carbo to the plate with the Red Sox first run. So it's two to one. Still no outs. Johnson is a slow runner. Freddie Lynn, if he goes bippity-boppity-boom to the moon, the Red Sox take a 3-2 to two lead. Another lefty-lefty matchup. Lynn against lefties reaches safely 0 through 30. McAnny looking for the double play ball off the bat of Lynn's stick. The pitch to Goldust Twin number 1. That could be a double play ball. That's a 63. Hard hit ball, oh, 63. Hard hit ball to short. Short stop, three. It's a double play ball. Six, four, three, two away. So Concepcion backhands, quickly pivots to Morgan, who then throws to Perez. Six, four, three, just what Will McAnany ordered. A race from the base paths at second on the force. Is Duran Johnson. Once again, that is a 63 against the lefty. Ground ball to short. The white die is a 3. Um, 0 through 3 is a double play. So two outs. 2-1 two to one Cincinnati. I'm just going to put Duran Johnson's card like this because most likely... I don't know if he's going to stay in the game at first. Here's Jim Ed Rice. Rice, 0 through 4, has a homer against left handed pitching. Anderson's going to stick with McEnany. The pitch to Rice, trying to tie it up with one mighty swing, but he won't. That is a 40. And that is a strikeout. He's an A plus pitcher, so we'll go look. It stays a strikeout. I already knew that. So McAnany does give up the pinch hit single to the righty, Deron Johnson, but then Lynn bangs into a double play, and Rice strikes out for his third time. Red Sox do get one. We go to the bottom of the six, two to one, Reds. Now do we want Deron Johnson to stay in? We can move Yastrzemski. to first, Carbo to left, and Evans to right. And I think that's what we're going to do. So Duran Johnson, all right, so Carbo will move to left. And we'll just go like that. Go left field. So Carbo moves to left in the bottom of the sixth. Yastrzemski moves to first base in the bottom of the sixth. Dwight Evans will move to the two slot, and he's going to play right. Evans is a positive fielder, excellent arm, and his error chance is a two, which is very good. So 
Evans will move here. So Cooper and Deron Johnson are out of the game. Evans is a positive. going to be in right field batting second in the lineup air chance two moderate base runner excellent arm so in the outfield in the outfield now Stramski doesn't need the arm rating anymore because he's at first Carbo Evans and Lynn all have excellent arms all right, so that's that. Rice. Lynn. Rice struck out. So the Gold Dust Twins not faring well. They're 0 for 6 with four strikeouts and a double play. McEnany went one inning. If he goes two innings, he's not eligible in game two, per Pine Tar rules. All right, we're ready for the bottom of the six, two to one, Cincinnati. Hope everyone's doing well out there. A little sip of water. Due up for the Reds to face Bill Lee. Lee's still a B-grade pitcher, and he will be the rest of the game as long as he's in there. Perez, Griffey, and Redderman. He's had trouble with this portion of the lineup. Perez is one for one. He's doubled, scored, and walked. Bill Lee has to keep it a one-run deficit here. The pitch to Tony Perez from the spaceman Bill Lee, and that's a horrible pitch. A 0-7, and that will be a double. So Tony Perez is going to double for a second time. This time a shot to center again over the head of Freddie Lynn. And here come the Reds trying to get that run right back. So Perez doubles. Ken Griffey does not bump the ball well. He's going to swing away. Lee needs a strikeout here. Griffey is walked and flown out. He's 0 for 1. The pitch to Griffey. 6. Oh, my Lord. That's a 15. What was it? 5. So that's a 15. Bill Lee on the verge of getting yanked. A 15 is a single, B, single, turns into a walk. So the ball is hit foul, and then Griffey works a walk. The B grade saves Bill Lee for the moment. But now it's first and second, no outs for Merv Redderman, who's one for two. It's grounded out and singled. Redderman's a righty. And now the Red Sox will go to Dick Drago. Drago. A plus two innings on the road. Jim Willoughby, A plus two innings on the road. Their bullpen's not good at home, except for Jim Burton. They're going to go to Dick Drago. Actually, they're going to go to Jim Willoughby. Uh, both have strike automatic strikeouts on 77. So that's it for Bill Spaceman Lee. He pitched a pretty good game, only giving up two runs, but he's responsible for Perez at second and Griffey at first. Does not retire a batter in the bottom of the six. So here comes Jim Willoughby. I believe gave up the game winning hit, game winning run and hit in game seven to the Reds in the real world series. I think. 
So it's Jim Willoughby in relief of Bill Lee. Both starters out of the game now. Both starters could not retire a batter in the sixth. Willoughby done with his warm-up tosses. Quick word with Fisk. Fisk back behind the plate. Willoughby's a righty. He'll now deal with Merv Rederman. Who reaches 0 through 35. He's going to stay in there. Not going to pinch it for Merv. Willoughby kicks and fires to Rederman. 60. Righty, righty matchup. Hard hit ball to Burleson. Burleson to Doyle. On to Yastrzemski. Double play. Perez advances to third. So Willoughby jams Redman, who somehow hits a one hopper to Burleson. Again, Burleson, Doyle, Yastrzemski, 6 4 3, two outs. Perez 90 feet away, though, with the third Reds run. So it was a ground ball. The 60 indicates the ground ball, righty, righty matchup, 60 through 65, ground ball to short. The zero, you go to the chart, zero through three, double play. It was a zero. So Willoughby does his J-O-B, but he's not, oops, Perez is actually still on. He's at third. They have to face Davey Concepcion now. Red Sox trying to keep it a 2-1 ball game. The wheels are a churning for both managers. And actually, it should have been in red. Six, four, three, double play, out. All right. Davey Concepcion trying to knock in the Reds' third run. He's 0 for 2. He struck out twice against Bill Lee. He's happy to see him gone. Against righties, he reaches safely 0 through 31. Willoughby takes a deep breath, arms down to his chest. The leg kick and the pitch of Davy Concepcion. And God damn it, Davy Concepcion's going to do it. That is a single on the 21. Concepcion hits a line shot to center. It is 3 1 Reds. So Davy Concepcion, really happy Bill Lee's out. Willoughby cannot wiggle out of it. That run will be charged to Bill Lee, and his day is done when it comes to the book. As he gave up three runs, all of them earned, through five innings. So it's three to one. Reds, two outs, Concepcion at first. Jim L., how you doing, my friend? Hope all is well. Thank you for joining us for a little pine tar baseball. And here's Cesar Geronimo, one for two. He singled in two and flown out to Lynn in center. Righty-lefty matchup, so Geronimo reaches safely zero through 34. Willoughby's ready. He deals to Geronimo. That's a four. That's an 11. An 11, a positive fielder, can rob it here. Let's see if we can... We need to find Dwight Evans in right. That's our only positive fielder. 31. And that ball is hit to Denny Doyle. It's going to be a base hit. As Doyle is a negative fielder, but it doesn't matter. You need a positive fielder to make the play. Denny Doyle is not a positive fielder. That's a base hit to right. It was an 11. Um... Concepcion is a fast runner, so he goes to third on the two-out single. Geronimo is now two for three. Reds have runners on the corners. Top of the order for Charlie Hustle, Pete Rose, three to one Cincinnati. The pitch to Rose. Will he be trying to get out of this mess? And he's, oh my God. It's a 22 Rose reaches safely 0 through 40. 22 again goes to a positive fielder. We got to find 
We need a 15 through 26 for Mr. Dwight Evans. It's a 48. This will be another base hit. As that's a base hit in front of Freddie Lynn. That was a 22 on the original roll. So that's a base hit to Freddie Lynn. Concepcion scores from th third. It's now 4-1 Reds. Geronimo goes first to third. And Pete Rose is now one for four with a ribby. So the Reds strike for two once again, and they're looking for more. It's 4-1 Cincinnati. And Willoughby not doing bueno. Try to get him through this one more out in this inning. Concepcion scored. Geronimo's at third. Rose at first. And here comes Joe Morgan. The pitch to Morgan. Willoughby will retire Morgan. That's an 83. Fly ball to center. Lynn makes the catch, but the red strike for two. Joe Morgan's 0 for 4. Top of the 7th. 4-1 Cincinnati. Game 1, best of 7. Our alternate series. Jim Rice plays. The Reds get home field advantage. And we every game has a DH. Larry Harris. Hope all is well. Thank you for joining us. So the Reds come right back after their, the Red Sox had cut it to a one-run lead. McEnny is going to stay in this game and at least pitch. To Yastrzemski in the lefty-lefty matchup. Yaz has to get something going here. He's 0 for 2. The pitch to Yaz from McEnany. 2, 68. That's going to be an out. Fly, uh, hard hit ball to third. Rose across the diamond to Perez. And Yastrzemski's 0 for 3. Scoring at home 5 to 3. 5 being the third baseman. 3 being the first baseman. 1 down in the top of the 7th for the Red Sox. Here comes Carlton Fisk, the pitch from McAnney to Pudge. 43, what will it be? We shall see. Swing and a miss! Oh, boy. Second time Fisk gone down via the K. Seven strikeouts for Reds pitching. Nolan had five. McAnney with two now. So McAnney's going to go these two innings here, and he will not be eligible for game two. Unless we want to lift him for Pedro Barbone. And we might just do that. And here comes Captain Hook himself. And Pedro Barbone will come in the game. So Mac and he will be eligible tomorrow. Or game two whenever we play it. I don't know if I'm going to show all the games online. But I wanted to do this one. Pedro Barbone. Mac and he goes an inning and two thirds. No runs. Two strikeouts. Nolan had five strikeouts. Gave up one run. Okay. So here comes Pedro Barbone. Vote for Pedro. He's good for two innings. He's an A plus pitcher at home. Reds desperately need to win these games at home. Because their bullpen is not as good on the road. Pedro Barbon. Juan Beniquez at the plate to face Pedro Barbon. The pitch to Beniquez. Beniquez is 0 for 2. 98. Beniquez swings the stick. It's going to be get to the kitchen range check. Let's find an error if you're a Red Sox fan. 
81. That ball, Beniquez hits it to left field. George Foster's error rating. Racing towards the line. He slides. He makes the backhanded grab. Five. His error chance is a two. Foster makes the great play in the corner and left. Beniquez is 0 for 3. And the Red Sox are retired. 1, 2, 3. Bottom of the 7th, 4-1 Cincinnati. Things looking good for the Red Legs here in Game 1. Will it be back up on the mound for the Red Sox? Willoughby's given up one run. Lee gave up the other three. If Willoughby goes this full inning, he's not eligible in game two. But since the Red Sox are down, odds are we're going to let him go the full inning. Okay. Four one Reds. Willoughby will face Bench, Foster, and Perez in the bottom of the seventh. Bench, two for three, two singles and a flyout. The pitch to Johnny Bench from Jim Willoughby. And his troubles continue. Zero five, possible double, but A plus against the double turns into a walk. So Bench laces one foul, as we like to say, and then works. A walk. So bench is at first. No outs. For George Foster. Foster 0 for 3. A ground out and two strikeouts. The pitch to Silent George. 46 to Foster. Strike 3 looking. Foster K's for a third time. One out, one on for Tony Perez. Perez has doubled twice and walked. Scored two runs. TP having quite a good game. Willoughby looking for the double play ball. Perez looking for a double or better. The pitch to Tony Perez from Jim Willoughby. It's a double play ball, folks. That's a 62. That's a hard hit ball. Back to Willoughby. Willoughby turns, throws to Burleson, who comes across the bag to Yastrzemski, and the side is retired. 1-6-3, just what Jim Willoughby ordered. We are through seven. The Reds still have a three-run lead. Cincinnati four, Boston one. Top of the eighth. Willoughby is done. So Willoughby went two. Struck out one. Gave up one earned run. Lee struck out one, two, three, four, five. Lee's on the hook to be the loser. Due up for the Red Sox in the top of the eighth. Doyle Burles in the top of the order. Bernie Carbo. Carbo has been a one man wrecking machine, a single, a walk, and a triple. He scored the only Red Sox run. Pedro Borbone got the final out when Beniquez hit a shot down the left field line in the corner, making the sliding catch was Foster. So here's Denny Doyle. Doyle's one for two. Only Doyle, Carbo, and the pinch hitter, Duran Johnson, have hits. Bourbon to Doyle. 56. Right-handed pitcher. Ground ball back to Bourbon. He knocks it down. Calmly picks it up. Tosses to Perez. One down. Doyle's now one for three. One out here in the top of the eighth for the Red Sox. Here's the rooster, Rick Burleson. He has not crowed tonight. He's 0 for 2. Two fly out. Bourbon looks in at bench. An angry windup and the pitch to Rick Burleson. 51. Ball hit to Concepcion. He's up with it. 
The shortstop throws to Perez. Two down. Two quick outs for the Red Sox. Here in the top of the eighth. Top of the order, Bernie Carbo. Carbo two for two with a walk. He has singled, walked, and tripled. He scored on the pinch hit single by Duran Johnson. Carbo digs in. Bourbon glares at Carbo. Carbo glares back out at the mound. The pitch to Bernie. Will he go boom? Bernie goes boom! Bernie Carbo has just cut the Reds' lead in half. That is a five. That is a zero, two. Carbo sends it out to right field and gone. Bippity boppity boom to the moon for Bernie Carbo. Boom goes the ball and Carbo touches them all. Carbo now three for three. A double away from the cycle. He scored two runs. And now knocked in one with a homer. Five zero two right handed pitching gone. Bernie Carbo is clutch. Two out magic, and Reds fans getting an uneasy feeling here. The former Red himself, Bernie Carbo. As Jim L says, boom. C C and D baseball TV with Tony Porter. Ha ha. And Carbo has been very hot. That's why we started him. That's why I like sometimes just to make my own lineups. I mean, it's fun to play exact, too, but I wanted to make my own lineups in this series. Wow, 4-2. to two. They needed that. Two outs. Barbone not very happy. Evans is coming up. They're going to stick with Barbone. Righty-righty matchup. He's an A-plus pitcher. And again, you got to get the derivative of 5, so a 0, 0, which is counted as a derivative of 5 in this game. Then 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, up to 50. So Evans steps in. He, does not, he didn't start. He came in on the switch. When Carbo went to left, Yastrzemski went to first. Deron Johnson out of the game after he pinched it, and Evans to right. The pitch to Dewey from Pedro Barbone. Oh, nuts. I thought we were going to do it. That's a 57. Ground ball to Concepcion. Rinse and repeat. He throws to Perez. The side is retired. But the Carbo Blast cuts the Reds' lead in half. Cincinnati 4. The Bostonians 2. An angry Pedro Barbone scowls as he walks back towards the dugout. Bernie Carbo has been a one-man wrecking crew for the Boston Red Sox, but it doesn't seem that it will be enough. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Red Sox will have a new pitcher. The new pitcher will face Griffey, Redderman, and Concepcion. 4-2. You got to go to Drago here. Willoughby went two innings, so he can't pitch in game two. You want to keep it that two-run deficit. Oh, my God, is your bullpen god-awful. So it's going to be Drago. Third Red Sox pitcher now. Dick Drago. On the road, he's an A-plus pitcher for two innings out of the pen. At home, he's an E. Ugh. So try not to use him at home. Automatic strikeout on 77. Faces Griffey, Redderman, and Concepcion. Griffey against righties. 0 through 39, he reaches... The designated hitter for the Reds is 0 for 1. He's walked twice and scored. The pitch to Ken Griffey from Dick Drago. 62. Griffey swings the stick. Doyle has it at second. Over to Yastrzemski. One down. Now bring up Merv Redeman, the right fielder for the Reds. He's 1 for 3. He's grounded out, singled, and banged into a double play. 
Drago nods his head. Fisk sets the target. The pitch to Merv Redman. That's a 0-3. Merv Redman hits this ball well, and it's going to be off the wall and left for a double. By the time Bernie Carbo corrals it, Merv Redman now two for four. Red Sox pen has not done very well. It's not horrible, but they need to not give up any runs here. Davey Concepcion knocked in a run his last time up. One for three. Prior to that, he struck out twice. Righty, righty matchup. Drago hoping for the double play ball. He deals to Concepcion. It will be an out. That's a nine. Well, it might not be an out. It's going to be a range play. Who, where is this ball hit to? It's going to be an out because no one's that horrific. There's no seven error chance. So that's a 15. Concepcion on the 15. Hits the ball to Yastrzemski. So it's an out. The question is, what does Merv Redman do? Well, we're just going to play... The 15, that's a 5. Balls hit the first. Uh, 5. Fielder's choice. So Yastrzemski gets Redderman at second. They can't turn 2. Oh, Redderman's at second. Excuse me. Redderman is at second. He goes to third. I'm sorry about that. And Yastrzemski takes it to the bag himself. So there are two outs. Redman's at third. My faux pas. Because he doubled. That brings up Cesar Geronimo. Geronimo is two for three with two ribbies. He knocked in two runs with a two-out single in the bottom of the second. He's also flown out to Lynn. Two outs, Redderman at third. The pitch to Cesar Geronimo from Dick Drago. He's going to end the inning, 63. Hard hit ball to second. Doyle to Yastrzemski. The side is retired. Redderman stranded at third. Good job by Drago. Red Sox last call. Last call for alcohol. Three outs, and they're through unless they can score two runs or more. Top of the ninth. 4 to 2 Cincinnati game 1 best of 7 uh what is Redderman? Now he's a pretty they're all pretty good defenders you're not taking any of these guys out Borbone has gone an inning and a third. Now we're going to turn it over to Raleigh Eastwick. All the Reds pitchers will be eligible for game two because they did not pitch their two full innings. So it's Raleigh Eastwick to try to get the save here. He's an A+. Plus. He's an A, actually. Borbone's an A+, plus though. And we would let Barbone, if he goes one, he, he can finish off the ninth, one, two, three. If he gives up a hit, then he's got to get yanked. That's the way we'll play that. He's an A+. Plus. Now, if he pitches the full nine, actually, if we keep him in, he won't pitch in game two. A+, plus. better than an A. They're going to stick with Pedro Barbone. So Barbone will face in the top of the ninth for the Red Sox, the Gold Dust Twins, Lynn and Rice, and then the Elder Statement 
of the Bostonians, Carl Yastrzemski. Freddie Lynn, 0 for 3. A fly out, a strikeout, and a double play. The pitch from Barbone to Lynn. Well, this will make the decision to take him out of the game quite easy. <laughs> That's a 3. That's a 0-2. Freddie Lynn goes yard! Lynn goes the opposite way, left center field, and that, actually right, I'm sorry, he pulls the ball. It's gone to right field, bippity boppity, boom to the moon. Freddie Lynn has just jacked one out, and the Red Sox are down by one. Boom goes the ball, and Freddie Lynn touches them all, and here comes Sparky Anderson. The second home run Bourbon has given up, the first one to Carbo. In the eighth, and now another lefty gets him. Gold Dust Twin number one, American League Rookie of the Year and MVP, Freddie Lynn. It's four to three. Sparky Anderson signaling for Eastwick out of the pen. So here comes Raleigh Eastwick. And a very angry Pedro Barbon goes to the dugout. The Reds use their fourth pitcher. Barbon went an inning and a third. He'll be eligible for game two. And here's Raleigh Eastwick. A pitcher for two innings at home. A plus on the road. So with no outs, it's now 4-3. to three. Lynn just homers. A lot of euphoria in that Red Sox dugout. But they need one more to tie and more to go ahead. Here's Jim Ed Rice. He has struck out three times. Righty, righty matchup. Eastwick's ready. No automatic strikeouts or walks. The pitch to Jim Rice. 46. Swing and a miss. He blows the fastball high and in. Rice tried to jack it out of the park, and Rice has struck out four times. The Reds are two outs away from a 4-3 victory. Here's Carl Yastrzemski, the elder statesman. Eastwick works quickly to Yastrzemski. That's a 54. Yastrzemski bangs the ball to Morgan at second. He flips to Perez. Two down. So Eastwick has come in and doused the flame so far. The Red Sox down to their final out here in game one. Reds lead four to three in Cincinnati. Carlton Fisk, the Red Sox catcher, the man the Bostonians call Pudge. The last hope. He's 0 for 2. He's walked and struck out twice. Righty, righty matchup. Eastwick looking to give the Reds the first win in the series in game one. It would give Nolan the win, Eastwick the save. He looks in at Johnny Bench. A deep breath. He rocks and deals to Carlton Fisk. Fisk swings the stick. 69. That ball's to Concepcion. The shortstop is up with it. Over to Perez. And this ball game is over. Eastwick comes in. Gets Rice, Jastrzemski, and Fisk. The Reds win. 4-3. to three. Actually, that would be an X. So the Reds win 4-3 to three in Game 1. Pine Tar Baseball, 1975 Red Sox, 1975 Reds, alternate series, best of seven. The Reds get home field advantage due to their... They had more victories. Jim Rice plays, and we use a DH in all ballparks. I hope everyone enjoyed it, as Jim L. was looking for a home run from Fiske. Bangs out to short to end the game. Your winner is Gary Nolan. Nolan, five innings, one run it was earned. Struck out five. Uh, the save goes to Eastwick after Barbone gave up his second homer in as many innings. This time to Freddie Lynn. He is lifted.
And Eastwick gets Rice, Yastrzemski, and Fisk to end the game. The loser is Bill Lee. He went five innings, three runs. They were all earned. He struck out five. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. I'd like to say thank you to Jim L. C&D Baseball TV with Tony Porter. Check out that wonderful channel. Larry Harris, Steeler Fan 1933, a.k.a. Matt. Dave Gardner. Remember to check out Digital Dice, the podcast that makes everything nice. Arizona, uh, Sox Arizona. Check out his channel, Captain Carl 8. Christopher Slovak, another wonderful content creator in our community. Clinton Parks. MV, WVOGS18, a wonderful card collecting channel, RF, and of course, Kurt Berglund, who makes these wonderful teams and uh, sets and seasons. If you're interested in Pine Tar Baseball, please email Kurt Berglund. Check out his channel. He'll give you his email address. Um, 72 season on sale now, or it can be sold. PDF or printed version. I think the PDF. I'm not sure if it's printed version yet. But the third great team set for the MLB, as I like to call it, which I picked up printed, um, is out there right now. So you check out Kurt Berglund and Pine Tar Baseball. And for any prior season sets or card sets, you can go to the Pine Tar Baseball site. Life is sports. But if you have any questions, check out the Pine Tar Facebook page. Or, like I said, go to Kurt Berglund's channel. You can email him. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Hope everyone enjoyed the game. It was a lot of fun. My beloved Red Sox go down 4-3. to three. Bernie Carbo had a huge game, though. Uh, but it wasn't enough. As the Reds win 4-3, they take game one. Game two up on the channel at some point in time. If you like the and want to see the rest of these this series, hit that like button. Share if you haven't subscribed and you want to, please do so. Hit the notification bell to come back and join a really fun chat. We have a good time. And check out all the other wonderful content creators in the community. Be safe, be smart, treat people the way you want to be treated. I greatly appreciate your time. God bless. You know it's coming, folks. You know it's coming. I love you all. The Reds win 4-3 to in Game 1. And peace!